Hello, I'm Christophe. Uh, so I'm senior manager at UVS working on Mediaception solution, which are all the solutions related to uh, production asset management. So today I'm here to talk about our synergies and integration in between our production asset management and newsroom system. And especially today about Octopus integration, integration in between with VMAP and IP Director. So our story uh, in between Octopus and EVS started 10 years ago uh, with a big newsroom in Singapore called MediaCorp. So at that time, we were focusing on multilingual uh, ways to, to share the story from uh, Octopus. So since then, actually, we have improved a lot our synergies, uh, as I said, in between Octopus, VMAP, and IP Director by doing a much faster workflow and use cases by doing the digital first with the story-centric workflow. So today, with the use case I'm going to show you, we will really, we'll be focusing on the rundown-centric workflow. So here you see the, the newsroom system, so Octopus and RCS. And what I'm going to do, actually, I have created and I will create a rundown. And what I'm going to do, actually, I will open the rundown and I will synchronize this rundown through MOS uh, to my IP director uh, playout uh, control. So what I'm going to do also, I will take one of those three and I will create a placeholder. And by creating this placeholder, actually, it will create an, an, an Adobe project and an Adobe sequence, which are empty, so that from the map, an editor or journalist could take over the ownership of this uh, uh, sequence. So here I'm showing the VMAP, and what you can see actually, you see that uh, the MOS and Octopus has created two things, an Adobe project and an Adobe sequence. Now if you jump to IP Director, you will see that we also have been creating uh, a playlist, an AV role playlist, which is correspond to, the, to the, the rundown created in Octopus. So then I can drag and drop this uh, playlist into my IP Director AV role playlist management. All the elements are still missing. Why? Because they, we are at the beginning of the day. So these are all placeholders. So now I jump to Adobe. And you see that directly from the VLink panel, which is nothing else than an access inside Adobe to the VMAP database. So you see that you can retrieve the Adobe project on the left side. And then you see that there is also an empty sequence, which corresponds to the story I created inside, uh, inside Octopus. So now what I'm going to do, I will, I will play the role of a journalist or an editor, and I will start editing. So I will just simply take two shots. So now I jump to the VLink importer, which is a panel inside uh, VMAP, and then I will select a few uh, shots. So then I'm going to take one first shot, an in and out, a quick uh, subclip. I will drop it directly in, the, in my sequence. I will do the same for another shot. So here, uh, a shot from the European Parliament, so plenary session of last year. So I put an in, out, and then I drop in, in my sequence. And I'm, when I'm ready with my sequence, I just go to the Vienning exporter, and I select the target. Here, what the target, what the target will do, actually the first step of the target will be to launch Adobe Media Encoder in order to render the sequence as a flattened file. The second step of the workflow will be to just restore it to the playout server. So here you see that uh, in Adobe Media Encoder, you, you, you have the first step, which is the rendering of the sequence itself. And then I'm going to jump to uh, VMAP, so the web-based UI, in order to see the progress of the entire workflow. So I go to, for to do so, I go to Viatrace, and then you see in Viatrace that all the workflow of my system are monitored. And here you see that the, 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 the restore to the playout server is still in progress. That means that I can then jump directly to IP Director. And then you, what you will see, actually, in the rundown that you, you have uh, created in Octopus, which corresponds to a playlist, you will see that this element, which is actually being restored on the playout uh, server, will become queued. So that means it's ready to be played out. So I'm going to start. The, the, the playout on the A channel, and then I'm ready to, to do the broadcast. So, as I said, so we started 10 years ago uh, with Octopus and uh, EVS to start working on uh, uh, those workflow, and then we added more uh, evolution. So evolution like being able to browse VMAP, being able to create story-centric workflow. So again, by speed, speeding up the way to publish to all the different channels, including obviously the linear channel. So 
Last but not least, I would say if you want to learn more about all the, those integration in between EVS and newsroom integration, go and visit us at NAB. We are located at the south lower floor. So please join us uh, to see, to have a chat and to, to have a full demo. Thank you.